Energy is the most important challenge facing our society today. We're going to need to replace 85% of our primary energy supply in the next 30 to 50 years. Enter the organic solar cell, subject of a great deal of research and interest. This lamp is a mimic the uh, sunlight, so you can turn on the sunlight. Then the polymer solar cell will convert the sunlight into the electricity to power the fan. What's cooler than having a thin piece of plastic that turns sunlight into electricity that, that can power your lights, your refrigerator, even charge up your electric car at some point in time? Flexible solar cells made from organic plastics are lighter weight than the silicon solar cells we use now. And they're potentially less expensive to make and install, but they don't work quite as well, yet. Researchers at the University of Washington are looking at ways to make those thin films more efficient in converting light to electricity. The structural elements they're studying are on a nanoscale level, about 10,000 times smaller than a human hair. It's how those features are aligned, how they're ordered, that controls the performance of these cells. While chemistry department researchers determine how charges are transported, the materials science and engineering department looks at ways to design and manufacture a usable and cost-effective product. The goal is to be able to print large sheets of plastic solar cells using technology similar to newspaper printing. From the uh, economical point of view, okay, this can be potentially very cheap, okay, and potentially can be very cheap to operate also. Right now, the, the cost of solar energy is not just the materials cost of the cell, it's the cost of the installation. And so the vision is, we've got these plastic materials, the material cost is lower, they're lighter, they're flexible, the installation cost can potentially be much lower as well. You don't have to reinforce your roof, you don't need a metal frame, you don't need standoffs. So all of these associated costs can be driven down as well with these new thin film technologies. This will be dramatic impact, not only to economy, but also to the environment. Okay, so this is dramatic, I think, the uh, impact to the societal. Mm -hmm.